So somebody somewhere decided to introduce it to the public bloodstream. That's not the best choice of words, is it, in the current context? That the vaccines make you magnetic and indeed Bluetooth enabled. And I don't laugh at Well, I do kind of laugh at it, especially when I catch Keith's eye. But I also don't laugh at it because what I've learned over the course of the last 18 months is how many outwardly sensible people fall for nonsense like this. So when we took calls probably over a year ago now, do you know it's a year to the day since Dominic Cummings sat in the Rose Garden at Downing Street and told you that he'd gone for a 60-mile drive to test his eyesight? Sheesh. And the cabinet were telling you he was trustworthy then. They'll be telling you the opposite tomorrow. Heads, tails. So I think it was back in March of 2020 that we first took calls from people who were genuinely convinced that that Bill Gates wanted to put a tiny microchip in their bloodstream and that coronavirus was invented so that when the vaccine came along it would enable him to to undertake some form of population control and you can tell from my voice i'm torn i'm 50 (laughs) percent i'm 50 percent whoa because if people believe it then it becomes dangerous so we've done quite a lot on the psychology of credulity uh, or gullibility or whatever you prefer to call it what we haven't done is ask what's in it for the people doing it so a lot of the lies about Brexit are easy to understand, you know, because people thought it was going to be good, even if they couldn't actually provide any real reasons why it would be good. They were so convinced that it was going to be good that they could provide unreal reasons and their conscience would be clear. That, 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 that's one example. Um, other things that aren't true, send me money and I'll protect you from the hooded claw. That, that is a good business model, incredibly successful grift. You've seen it in in all areas of our lives in recent years. People um, telling you, oh, the mainstream media won't report on this. If you send me money, I'll tell you all about what's going on. Brackets, I get all my information out of the mainstream media, but obviously you don't read it. Otherwise, you wouldn't believe me when I tell you that the mainstream media aren't reporting this. Here's my P.O. box number. Don't forget my PayPal. Close bracket. So I, I, I kind of understand when there's money in it for people. But I don't think there's any money in this, is there? There's no money in suggesting that Bill Gates wants to control you. Or indeed in suggesting that by taking the vaccine you become Bluetooth enabled. So why do they do it? 03456060973 is the number you need. But why? What's in it for them? And this is one for the purists, one for the fan club. Does it have anything to do with the Earl of Dartmouth? As not only has that been suggested on on Twitter, Wayne and Alex have had a bit of banter about that, but Keith said it a moment ago as well. Independently, you hadn't seen the... the, the, Because it might be, you know. It might be something to do with the Earl of Dartmouth. I'll explain more shortly. If you already know what I'm talking about, you can think on. But why? What's in it for the liars? There's no money. If there's no money in it, right, it's anonymous, so there's no power attached to it there's no profile there's no political gain if if you were a foreign power then maybe that's part of the answer you want to continue to disrupt and destabilize liberal democracies in the west in order to shore up your own kleptocracy in the east i'm looking at you vladimir uh, that, then i can see why because a lot of the vaccine related nonsense did turn out to have come from i think with mmr actually a lot of the mmr nonsense came out more recently has come out of 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 bot stroke troll farms in russia so a foreign regime seeking to disrupt a stable liberal western democracy maybe that that part of the answer you can have that if you want but the other one um just just eludes me The vaccines don't contain microchips, they don't make you Bluetooth enabled, they don't make you magnetic, and they don't transmit short short distance radio waves. So what's in it for the people that tell these lies? 0345 6060 973. And and, and anything you've got, theory, actual evidence-based experience, or or like me, a kind of fond speculation. What what have you got? What's in it for them? 